at this time, I like for you to take your do rag off. You know, if you got weave, take your weave off. Go ahead and pat, pat under your head. What we gonna have is a brush, a brush and talk. Brush and talk. I know y'all probably laughing, but this roach been bothering me for a minute. I figure, I figure, you know what I'm saying, I might as well just kill it. It's been bothering me for a long, for a long time. But we gonna have a, a brush and talk, brush session. You see the waves? If you're not used to waves like this, you know what I'm saying, don't hurt yourself. Don't drown yourself, you know what I'm saying? Um... Today I'm gonna show you how to get your wave shiny. We're gonna use some uh, olive oil, and I'm gonna tell you a story. Now the story is something I told on TikTok. For those of y'all who don't follow you on TikTok, real overdose last. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and find me, real overdose last. All right. So today's story. Is going to be um, the reason I don't Netflix and Taco Bell. You feel me? The reason I don't Netflix and Taco Bell. So, you're going to need, if you hear, you know what I'm saying? I got my brush. I got my Torino Pro. I got my mirror. And I got my olive oil. So, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to go over them joints. All right. So, I remember I had bagged this girl at the mall. Um, this was when I worked at the cookie place. You know, when I worked at the cookie place, bro, a lot of females used to just come up to the store. And, you know, I had waves. And I was from New York, so they loved to... One, they liked to look at me. They loved to look at, look at my hair. And then on top of that, they loved my accent. And I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I, I used to... I used to throw the accent out there just because, you feel me? Be like, yo, mom, what's poppin'? How you? You feel me? They love that. Oh, my God, where you from? Oh, you know 50 Cent? You know, I'm a, I'm a little older than y'all, so back in the day, 50 was popping. You know Diddy? Matter of fact, I ain't that old. I ain't that old. But, you know, they, they used to ask questions like that. So, anyway, me and Shorty sparked up a conversation. I got her number, and... We was talking for probably like a week. No, we was talking for like two weeks. We was talking for two weeks. You already see how like once I spray the joint in there, it starts shining already. <clears throat> Shout out to my boy Nick Wavy too, man. But anyway, we was talking for two weeks before like she finally invited me to come to the crib. Now... When I got to the crib, the first thing we ended up doing was smoking a blunt. That was the first thing we did was smoke a blunt. And y'all know right after you smoke a blunt, you get the munchies. You get the munchies. So what do we do? I didn't have a car, so she was like, yo, you want to go to Taco Bell? I was like, sure. Mind you, bro, I don't really, I don't really know about Taco Bell like that. I was just going... Because, you know what I'm saying, I was trying to make sure she was comfortable because I came there and I had my own my own mission that I wanted to accomplish. You feel me? So we went to Taco Bell. I believe they had the, uh, the Dorito Burritos. Dorito Burrito. Right? That's a, that's a crazy name. Dorito Burrito. So it was like the ranch, the ranch flavor and the... Um, the regular nacho joint. So I got both of those. And I'm not going to lie. I was so high. And hungry. That I just. You know. I killed them both. On the way back to the crib. I killed them both. Just going crazy. So now she lived on the top floor. Right. So we walking back. We walking back to her crib, and as we walking up them stairs, I felt my stomach rumbling. You know what I mean? Like, I knew what time it was. Like, I felt my stomach. 
I was like, ooh, that's not good. And it wasn't good because I wasn't planning on taking no doodle at this woman's house. It was not going to, you know, like, once you take a doodle at somebody's crib, that changes the mood. Like, if that's your girlfriend or that's your boyfriend or something like that, then that's something different. But if it's somebody that you just talking to, y'all really don't know each other like that, you can't do that. But I ain't had no car, son. You feel me? So the fact that, like, I... I wanna, you know what I mean? Like my stomach is going, is, is going kind of crazy right now, and I don't have no whip. What am I gonna do? So you know, I came there on a mission, and I was determined to complete my mission because she was a very attractive young lady. So I called upon the force, and you know, I clenched my, I clenched my cheeks very tight. Pause. And I proceeded to, to, you know, to put the mat down. I was just like, it was popping. You know, like, I know you ain't had me come over here for no reason. Plus, I seen how you was checking me out as soon as I walked in here. We grown. What's up? She's like, oh, you think you smooth? I'm like, you know I'm smooth. That's why I'm here. Like, what's up? I'm not going to hold you the whole time, though. The whole time, <laughs> I'm ready to take this. I'm ready to drop this number two, bro. <laughs> That's so nasty. But anyway, the whole time, I'm ready to drop that number two. But I'm like, yo, nah, nah. I'm completing my mission before I do anything else. So, you know, one thing led to another, and it went down. It went down smooth. Pause. It went down. I, I definitely did what I what I came to do, you know. And when it was over, this when things get a little awkward. When it was over, I started throwing hints like, "Yo, hold on, let me get the back right quick." So, when the whole situation was over, I started throwing hints. I was like, yo, I don't think that, that Dorito agreed with my stomach. I don't think I don't think the Dorito agreed with my stomach. She didn't really say much. She was like, really? I was like, yeah, that feel crazy. You know, I was just like, pretty much letting her know what was about to go down. Without really telling her what was about to go down. So eventually I was like, yo, where your bathroom at? I gotta use the bathroom. I could tell, like, from the way she looked when I said it, it was one of those, like, this nigga. But you know, it's either you, you try to, you take me back to my crib, which was like 30 minutes away, and risk the chance of me dropping that number two in your car, which would have been an even worse situation for both of us, because then I probably had to kill you, because now, like, that ain't type of story I want you to, yo, you know, you know this dude, I, I was, you know, this dude chilled with me, and then on my way, on the way back home, he, he took a doodle in my car. Like, imagine telling your friends that story, how I took a doodle in your car. No. Uh-uh. We're not going to have that, so let me just go ahead and drop my number two in your bathroom. So, I, I used her bathroom, but his was crazy. I thought it was going to be one of them situations where... Alright, this is gonna get a little graphic, but I want you to understand, like really understand where I'm coming from, right? I thought it was gonna be one of them situations where I could just drop it off and it was gonna be light. You know what I mean? Like you just keep flushing or whatever. She ain't gonna smell nothing. She ain't gonna hear nothing. It's gonna be a light situation. That was not the case. Like the Taco Bell, I don't know what they put in the Taco Bell in that particular day. But what ended up happening was, it, it sounded like Pearl Harbor. Like, it sounded like a, a World War II movie. 
You feel me? Straight like machine gun fire and, and missile droppings. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of missiles were dropping. You feel me? A lot of water everywhere. A lot of grrr, a lot of a lot of that. Like that's the best way for me to explain it. To be honest, bro, after I was done, I was so embarrassed that I just you know I took my clothes, put my clothes on, and I left. I I left. I, I already know that you know. While I was there, she, she was probably texting her friends, and to this day, I'm probably I'm probably still certain that she's telling people that she know that story. Yeah, this dude came to my house and like he took a doodle. Like, could you believe he took a doodle at my house? But it's like you got a toilet. What what, what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so that's that's the reason why I don't I don't Netflix and Taco Bell, man. I don't I don't do those at all. That's probably one of my most embarrassing moments. Well, no, I got enough. I got a few, but that that's up there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the the brush session. Um, if you made it to this this far into the video, and you want to know how to get your hair shiny and silky, what you gotta use is everything that got oil in it. So olive oil. You feel me? Especially like this kind right here. Olive oil. Uh, argan oil for the perfect edges. You feel me? Um, I would say coconut oil. But sometimes, sometimes with certain people, coconut oil don't agree with everybody's skin. So you can probably get it on your hair. But if you get it on your scalp, it might break you out underneath your scalp. You know what I'm saying? Because especially if, if you get it on your face, it definitely break you out on your face. So I can really only imagine what it does like if it get on your scalp. So you got to be careful with coconut oil. But it do help with the shine. You feel me? But I would definitely recommend this right here. This spray. Palmer's Olive Oil Formula. Conditioning Spray Oil. This joint right here. I'd recommend this. Let's work on the thumbnail. This could, this could be the thumbnail right here. They gotta see my whole face. Oh, there it go. Ooh, I look like a whole model out here in these streets, boy. Wait, wait a minute now. All right, <laughs> that's the video, y'all.